Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing a rare scenario, how to delete an application beggar. So what is the visa we have and what are the rules that you have to delete manually in Pega? Let's get started into the topic. So we know that uh, the application instances are present under records, application definition and application. And you can see there are many application instances there. So for example, now I want to delete this test application. Normally an application uh, is uh, tightly coupled with uh, rule sets that we add to the application stack. And uh, if there are any access groups that are related, we need to delete those. And if there are any operators who are being pointed to this application, then we have to update the operator ID profile. Or uh, if those operators are only confined with this application, then we need to delete those. Uh, operators as well so here just if you go and click delete like uh, delete some comments and if you just click delete so the application uh, will be written so before that we need to delete the rule sets associated with uh, make sure that if it is a reusable rule set don't delete that only your application specific rule set you have to delete so how to delete a rule set go to configure system refactor rule sets and you can see here delete a rule set if you go to delete a rule set and uh, you can uh, simply go here uh, so mine is sample the rule set is so i can go here where the sample is here and click apply and you just search okay the, and if you want to uh, specifically delete a rule set version you can do this otherwise just if you click delete so there are no errors so this uh, sample rule set is also deleted okay and uh, if you want to observe that this application right try to open it it will go for a new wizard because already we have deleted that and next you have to go to records organization operator id suppose if there are any operators that are there associated with that application make sure to delete this otherwise uh, for example this is the operator id and see this is the access group so if there are some access group related to that you can go to that uh, respect to access group and if you click delete the respect to access group will also be deleted so because in the access group we are we would be giving application version that's why so if you try to access this access group or if uh, an operator is already present uh, uh, associated with this access group then you make sure that uh, you have to point to a different application if you want to continue the same operator and you may have wrote in production or uh, in live scenario there might be many operators so if you go to access group and go for operator tab, you can see what are the different uh, access group that are uh, sorry different operators that are associated with this access group so step by step you can delete uh, like that so this is what i have illustrated in a note so it would be very easy for us to understand. Hope you have learned a small thing or you have refreshed your subject on deleting the application and associated rules with that. And uh, if I miss any, please feel free to comment on this video related to this topic. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this content. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on bell notification so you won't be missing any latest video from this YouTube channel.